Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to our time of worship. Let us begin this morning by preparing our symbols. As I place the Bible, we think of God the Father and we say, Father, we are here. We are here for you. As I place the cross, we think of Jesus, God's Son, and we say, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. And as I light the candle, we think of God, the Holy Spirit. And we say, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. It's wonderful to be with you all. Now this morning we're going to share with you the first miracle of Jesus. The first miracle that Jesus undertook was at the wedding in Cana. Now I'm sorry but we're unable to travel back to the time of Jesus or to film a real wedding celebration party. So today I'm going to ask you to use your imaginations and enjoy the pictures of a modern summer celebration with the account of the first miracle of Jesus where he changed water into wine. Today we hear of a big problem and we hear how Jesus solved it. Reverend Deborah is going to narrate the story. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Weddings at the time of Jesus were a time of great celebration, which lasted for about a week. On the first day of the wedding ceremony, the bride and groom would exchange vows under a special canopy. Then for the next six days or so, the couple would celebrate with all their guests, dancing, playing games, enjoying food, music and wine. Mary, Jesus' mother, and Jesus' friends, and Jesus were all invited as guests to a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Mary noticed that there was a problem. The servants had found there was no more wine. Mary went to Jesus and said, Jesus, there's a big problem. There's no more wine. Jesus said to Mary, Woman, why do you come to me with this problem? My time has not yet come. Mary turned to the servants and said, Do whatever he tells you. In that place there were six huge stone jars of water that Jewish people used in their washing ceremony. Each jar held about a hundred litres. Jesus told the servants to fill the jars with water. Once they were filled to the very top, Jesus told the servants to take some to the master of the feast. The servants took the water to the master. When he tasted the water, it tasted like wine. The master didn't know where the wine had come from, but the servants knew. The servants knew that Jesus turned the water into wine. The master of the feast took the bridegroom to one side and said, People always serve the best wine first, and then afterwards, while their guests have been drinking for some time, they bring out the cheaper wine. But you have saved the best until last. This was the first miracle that Jesus did, turning water into wine. There he showed his glory and his followers believed in him. An amazing miracle. Did 
Do you notice the words that Mary, the mother of Jesus, said to the servers? Do whatever he tells you. Mary knew that Jesus was special and could do amazing things. Jesus asked the servers to fill the jars with water. But when they took the water to the master of ceremonies, he declared it to be the best wine. I wonder, I wonder what the servants thought of Jesus. In our moments of reflection, I'd like you to think of the values shown in this story. Think about when you have a problem. Who do you turn to for help? Mary and the servers put their faith in Jesus. And the people who witnessed this miracle realised that Jesus had demonstrated his glory and his followers believed in him. I'm now going to invite you to join me in a short prayer. You may like to look at the candle flickering. You may like to close your eyes or put your hands together. However you choose, it's a time of quiet and prayer. Lord Jesus, you showed your power and glory to the guests at the wedding in Cana. Help us to know that there is always someone that we can turn to when we have a problem or a worry. Help us to know that in times of trouble, there are people who we can trust to help and guide us. Amen. I invite you to join me in the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed our time together this morning. Let us conclude with the words of our blessing. Father, as we go, Jesus, as we go, Holy Spirit, as we go, bless us all as we go. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.